Hello students and parents. Today we're going to be reading a story called Stone Soup. This is a story about sharing and how everybody can benefit. Uh, this story is written by Adrian Betts and it's illustrated by John O'Brien. Once upon a time, a poor woman and her son were very far from home. Their names were Mimi and Henry and they had traveled a long, long way. They had no food. They were so hungry. At last they came to a town. The travelers went from house to house and asked, friend, do you have a bit of food to spare? No, said the woman at the first house. No, said the man at the second house. No, said the little girl who peeked out from behind the door at the third house. The hungry travelers asked the baker, the tailor, and the shoemaker. The baker said no. The tailor said no. The shoemaker said no. They even asked at the mayor's house, and even the mayor said, no, I have nothing to share. Mr. Mayor, said Henry, your town must be very poor. No one has as much as a crust of bread to share. But we will help you, said Mimi. We know a way to feed your whole town. All we need is a big pot. Do you have one? The mayor called to his children, bring out our big pot. He opened his door wide. The children came out carrying the biggest pot the travelers had ever seen. Thank you, my friends, said Mimi. The travelers carried the pot to the center of town. Henry filled the pot with water. Mimi built a fire around the pot. Everyone in town came out to watch them. Welcome, friends, said Mimi. Please join us. My dear son and I are going to make a very special soup for you. It's called stone soup. Then as everyone watched, Mimi bent down, picked up a stone and dropped it right into the pot. The baker said, impossible. The tailor said, impossible. The shoemaker said, impossible. No one can make soup from a stone, said the mayor. Watch and learn, my friend, said Mimi with a smile. Then she took a big spoon out of her traveling bag. She used the spoon to stir the pot. Ah, said Henry, there's nothing as good as stone soup. Of course, it would be even better if we had a carrot. But where would we ever find one? I think I know where to find a carrot, said one woman. Woman, thank you, my friend, Mimi said. This would be the perfect time to add carrots to the soup. The woman raced home and came back with a bunch of carrots. Mimi quickly sliced the carrots and stirred them into the soup. said Henry. There's nothing as good as stone soup. Of course, it would be even better if we had a potato. But where would we ever find one? I think I know where to find a potato, said a man. Thank you, my friends, Mimi said. This would be the perfect time to add potatoes to the soup. The man raced home and came back with the sack of potatoes. Mimi quickly sliced the potatoes and stirred them into the soup. Ah, said Henry, there's nothing as good as stone soup. Of course, it would be even better if we had a few beans. But where would we ever find some? I'll bring some beans, said a little girl. I don't have any beans, said a little boy, but I do have some cabbage. 
Now everyone in town thought of something that he or she could bring. Mimi quickly sliced and stirred all the good things into the soup. The soup was now so thick that it was hard to stir it. We can help, said the baker, the tailor, and the shoemaker. They all took turns stirring the pot. At last, the soup was ready. Again, everyone raced home. This time, they came back with bowls and spoons. Mimi used her big spoon to fill each bowl. The mayor was the very first to try the soup. Mmm, said the mayor. It's amazing. Soup from a stone. Mmm, said the townspeople. It's amazing and delicious. They all ate and ate until they could not eat anymore. Then everyone sang songs and laughed together until the stars came out. The mayor made a speech. We all thank you, he said to Mimi and Henry. Please stay in our town as long as you like. That night, the travelers went home with the mayor and his family. They were given the finest beds in the house. Ah, said Henry to his mother as she tucked him in, there's nothing as good as stone soup, especially when you have friends to share it with you. The end.